Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Franchise Challenge. Today we're on the Toronto Blue Jays and we got a special surprise for you guys. So, as a lot of you guys know, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. made his debut probably about a week ago at this point. The man honestly has turned the Blue Jays around. Like, the vibe that the Blue Jays are having right now is a little scary. I'm not gonna lie. They've won quite a few games with him being added to the squad and... I mean, they're looking pretty good with him in there now. Like, the vibe is just absolutely insane for Toronto. So, if I'm Toronto, I'm very happy with how it's going. But at Vladimir Guerrero Jr.'s debut, there was someone very special there. There was, of course, the Hall of Famer, his dad, the best genetics you could probably have handed down from you from your dad. Vladimir Guerrero was there. So, I kind of thought to myself, well, they both played. They both have a picture, actually, if I'll put it up on the screen where Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is like four, probably three years old, and it's Vladimir Guerrero in his Expos uniform. I was thinking, you know what? They're both in the same uniform. You know, I'm sure Vladdy could, could hit some bombs still. I'm sure the old Vladdy could still hit some bombs. Why not put them on the same team? So there we are. We're on the Toronto Blue Jays, and as you guys can see, we got Rowdy, we got Brandon, we got Vladimir Guerrero hitting right behind him is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That's gotta be special. Then Justin Smoke, Randall Gritchick, Teoscar Hernandez, Freddie Galvis, and then Reese McGuire for some reason. I'm putting, uh, where's my boy? Where's my other guy? I forget his name. Oh my God, I'm horrible. Danny Jansen, there we go. Jesus, why did I forget about that? So this is definitely gonna be a super sick episode. I'm wondering if we just do a full career simulation, but I think we might do like a couple seasons, maybe like four seasons, see how they do. Maybe, just maybe, they could bring back a World Series title to Toronto. That'd be absolutely insane, but here we go. The father and son duo. You got pretty much the Ken Griffey Sr. and Ken Griffey Jr. type duo right here. You got Vladdy and Vladdy Jr. Let's see how they do. If you guys do enjoy this video though, be sure to leave a like on it. Subscribe if you guys are new. It really does help me out. And also turn on that bell if you guys are subscribed. It will definitely help me out, especially with the state of YouTube. So please, please, just please. My cord's going everywhere, but please. Also, real quick, again, got to get this hell of stuff out of the way. I looked at my analytics. There are 80% of you guys that aren't subscribed that are watching my videos on the daily. So if you guys could, you know, if you guys are one of those 80%, just maybe go down, hit that red button. I would seriously appreciate it. It would make, it'd make my job a lot easier because this YouTube grind, it's a grind. So if you guys really could, I would be very, very grateful to you guys. So if you guys are one of those 80%, just please, just please. Anyway, I'm gonna get that sellout stuff out of the way. Here we go. Let's go ahead and hop into this regular season. Let's see how we do with the father-son duo on the squad. Here we go. Oh my God, already, bro? The Dodgers are thirsty. They're trying to give us Walker. They're trying to give us Chris Taylor and Andrew Tolls for Vladimir Guerrero. Oh my God. Oh my God. Are you actually serious? Like Vladdy's doing very good out of the out of the 31 games he's played, but no, I'm sorry, Dodgers. That's just not gonna happen. That'd be the, you, I'd ruin this whole video. No, I'm good. But as you can see, the Toronto Blue Jays are pretty much 10 games over 500, almost, well, 15 games around there. Almost, almost, come on, get there. You gotta get there for me now. Get it, please. No, don't go on this stupid losing streak, come on. 15 games above, 15, 15, there it is, baby, got 15. We lost it, but still, we got 15 games above 500. Toronto is absolutely killing it. We're probably in like tied for first, tied for second. I don't know, we're in wild card contention. That's all that really matters. Apparently the boys Vladdy and Vladdy Jr. are absolutely smoking everybody. So I'm gonna go ahead and see how they're doing pretty much at the trade deadline. And then after that, we're gonna keep going up until the playoffs. We'll see how we do. Come on. July, we've kind of lost a little bit. So let's regain a little bit. Come on. Come on back. Come on back. Let's go. Let's go. 10 games above 500, roughly. Not too bad. But we got to hammer it home. All right. Where are we? We are third in the AL East right now. And we are also third in the wild card. The people that we got to beat out to get into the wild card. It's going to be the Astros and the Yankees. That's probably going to be the hardest thing that we got to do. But you know what? I think the father-son duo can do it, to be honest. Like, we're only a game and a half back. A game and a half. Like, the thing that really is going to put us in the grave is the pitching rotation. Like, the pitching rotation actually did not look too bad, but still, it's, like, not the best. So that's probably the one thing that might put us in the grave. But other than that, we are looking good. Let's see how we're doing. We got Eric Sogard actually playing second. I actually like Eric. Am I weird for that? I like Eric. I think he's a good player. Actually, now looking at his uh, career stats, he's more like a... I wouldn't say mediocre, but like, cause that's a little rude, but he's definitely not top notch. That seems about right. He's not top notch. I don't think anybody even is worried about what Eric Sogard is doing. So whatever, it doesn't matter. We're really worried about Vladdy and Vladdy Jr. So let's go ahead and see him. Freddie Galvis, 15 bombs. That's a surprise for Freddie. Here we go, Vladdy Guerrero. I'll take off my hat and throw it in the freaking sewer for Vladdy Guerrero to be back in baseball. 22 home runs 
and 72 RBIs with a 319 for my man. Also, my man's 21. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is 20. I don't even want to know what the heck Vladdy Guerrero did, but let's just not worry about it. Amazing season for Vladdy Guerrero. Now Jr., how you doing? 23 homers, 58 RBIs, and a 285 for Vladdy Jr. As you can see, he's also a 90 overall at 20 years old. I mean, Jesus, guys. Jesus, this is insane. Rowdy hasn't really played all that much. I'm not going to worry about that. Brandon, very good from Brandon. Whoa! Brandon, 19 bombs, 51 RBIs, and 266. Not bad, Brandon. Randall Gritchick, eight bombs. Okay, cool. T Oscar, Jesus. And then Danny, Jesus. All right, well, the guys that I expected to lead the squad are leading the squad. So that's what I like to see. Let's keep it going the second half of the season. Come on, let's see how we do. I think we'll do very well. But that's just me. I don't know. I won't be the show could screw us and we would just never make the postseason. But I don't think that's going to happen. Again, I'm staying positive. Let's win some games. Our AAA squad absolutely destroyed everybody. 84 and 56. Okay. The Bison did good. That's good to know. It's always good when our AA teams do amazing. So let's keep going. Actually, real quick. Oh, they got eliminated too. Wow. What is this? What's this for? Yo, you're... I did it once. I will do it again. I did it once. Okay. I did it once with the Orioles rebuild. We had Glaber Torres on the waiver wire. And this is exactly what I did. So we're going straight back to that. It didn't work last time. Hopefully it'll work this time. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on. Hold on. Does that say Ryan Madsen? I got no clue. I don't know what happened. Whatever. Let's just claim him. I like Ryan Madsen, you know? I really do like Ryan Madsen. I mean, I think he's got sort of like a Cy Young type of thing going on. So Ryan Madsen, you know, maybe you could join the squad if you want. Possibly. Is it going to? Okay, I don't think it's going to work. Okay, what about this? Another. We got another attempt. Oh, my God. Ryan Madsen, dude, Jesus, wow. This guy's so good. Another Cy Young, you know? Another Cy Young. Come on, Aaron, please. Come on, Nola, come on. And we didn't even make the postseason. Are you serious? And we didn't get Nola either. Come on, dude. Two L's, two freaking L's. How close do we get? The Red Sox are just really good. We were three games back, but come on. Third place, three games back. Oh, come on. Come on. How did everybody do, though? Jonathan Davis did not play. I don't know why the heck he's there. Eric, how'd you do, bro? 231. You know, whatever. Vladdy, how did you do, my boy? 307, 30 bombs, or 34 bombs, 99 RBIs. That's what I like to see. Junior, how'd you do? 288, 36 bombs, and 81 RBIs with 80 walks, too. My man draws some walks. Everyone else, I'm I'm going to be honest, it really doesn't matter. I'm really just here for the two guys, but still, I'll see you guys in the next season, 2020. We'll be back. See you guys there. Red alert. Red freaking alert. Uh, hi, Aaron. We got Nola, so it wasn't two L's, thank God. Wait, did we sign him? No, Nola got a contract. Idiot. Anyway, okay, hi, Nola. What's good? What's good with you, baby? I guess it worked. So we're one for two, pretty much, with the whole, I don't know what's going on. What's, what's happening? It worked. Okay, it freaking worked. Now, now we're going to sign Vladdy Guerrero Jr. to a huge contract because why not, dude? We're going to sign him for 10 years and like pretty much 30. I don't know. Either way, we're signing him for a lot of dough. Let's see how long we can get him for. Can we go with the full 14? Come on. Oh my God, we got 14 years on Vladdy Jr. Is that freaking nutty that we got Vladdy Guerrero Jr. for 14 years? And again, it's like... 20 something million a year. I don't know if he's worth it right now. Actually, what am I saying? He is. Believe me, he is. Either way, I don't know what I'm talking about right now. I just want to get into the regular season. I want to just keep going. We got Aaron Nola somehow from the waiver wire. Like, that's realistic. Ooh, yeah, that that's for that's a thousand percent realistic. Either way, we're going to keep going. I'm hoping that the boys could lead the squad once again. And I'm hoping that Aaron Nola can lead the squad from the pitching side of everything so here we go we're in 2020 so far again 10 games above 500 well we were and we fell back down but still we're very close to that 10 games above 500 we're in second place and we're in second place in the wild card as well we got the red Sox and what the heck i said that backwards we got the race and the red Sox, and then the mariners right below us so we got to fight these three teams let's kill them okay let's just flat out kill them i'm trying to get into the postseason with my boys so let's do it. We'll go up until we get into the postseason and get far into the postseason. How about that? And by like far, I'm talking about like the ALCS or something like that. 
around there. If we get that far, that's where we'll cut it off. But still, I think we'll get into the postseason this year. I seriously have a weird feeling that we will do very well get into the postseason this year and possibly even go into the ALCS this year. I don't know. I'm feeling weird about it. Could this team win the World Series at this point? Yes. Pretty much a Hall of Famer and a Hall of Famer's son are on the team. Not to mention we got Aaron Nola, another future Hall of Famer. I'm calling it right now. And also, not to mention, we're 20 games over 500. We got this in the bag, okay? Yo, Flatty Jr.'s a 99. It's two seasons in. It's two freaking seasons in. Junior, what happened? Oh, he's ecstatic. Okay, that makes sense. Well, duh, I gave him a gigantic contract. How we doing? Jonathan Davis, very good. Brandon, very good. Vladdy, 35 bombs, 282. Let's go. Junior, 34 bombs, 84 RBIs, and a 274. Let's go. This duo, dude. If this duo could play baseball right now, I would, I'd do anything to watch that. I would buy a ticket to Toronto and just watch it. Like, if they could somehow swindle my boy Vladdy Guerrero and it's signing like a seven day contract, if they even have that in the MLB. We made it to the postseason, by the way. That's very good. But still, swindle them to like having a seven day contract or whatever, have them both hit in the exact same order. Honestly, I don't know if he'll be able to hit MLB pitching still, but that'd be amazing to see. So I don't know, maybe like an exhibition game in the off season. I don't know, but that'd be insane to see. And how do we do? Jonathan Davis, very good. Guriel Jr., very good actually. Wow, Guriel, okay. Vladdy, how'd you do? Oh my God. 39, 109, and a 275. Let's go. Junior, 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 junior. Okay. 44 home runs, 109, and a 287. Rowdy did freaking amazing. Randall did good. Brandon did good. Tiasker actually did very good as well. And then Reese, my God, how did everybody do? Aaron, how did the pitching staff do? 14 and 9, very good from Aaron. Marcus, amazing. Ryan, who the heck? What? Okay, Ryan, what's good, baby? What's good? Barry, I don't know who you are. Yo, is he our. Yo, we drafted a stud. I let the computer draft it, and my God, I should do it more often. A 19-year-old named Barry, 83 for overall, a potential, destroyed MLB hitters. Just destroyed them. What the heck? And then Aaron Sanchez, of course. I think we gotta quick manage this because I'm not trying to lose, and for some reason, the game's programmed to where if you don't do something like this, if you don't quick manage it or play it, you're pretty much losing, so. It's stupid, it's very dumb, but either way. Come on, boys. Guriel, that's perfect. Vladdy, come on up. Strike out Vladdy Jr., baby. Ground out, not what I was looking for. Tell us. Okay, Gritchick. God, what is going on? All right, Davis back up here again. That's a double play. All righty. Guriel, walk. Vladdy, pop out. Junior, strike out. God dang it, dude. And they scored five. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Seven now. No, bro, we should have been out of there a long time ago. Davis, let's come back a little bit, boys. There we go. Three singles. Hit them all in. Vladdy, come on. Double play. Wow. Oh, my God. Okay, well, thank you, Nola. I appreciate that amazing outing. And also, Vladdy and Vladdy Jr. What was that? You're supposed to lead the squad. And we freaking sucked. Okay, well, either way, we got a glimpse into the postseason, but that was the wild card team. We're trying to get better than that. So... I'll see you guys in 2021. Hopefully we can do better than that. All right, the new 2021 Blue Jays is looking like this. We got Jonathan Davis, Starlin Castro now, new second baseman. Wow, new addition was good. Vladdy Guerrero, of course. Junior, of course. Rowdy, of course. Guriel, of course. Brandon, of course. Tioscar, of course. And then Reese. I did it for too long, of course. Anyway, Nola, Ryan, of course, the guy that killed it last year, deserves Cy Young. Danny Salazar, guess he's our new Marcus Stroman, since Marcus Stroman's nowhere to be found. And then Carlos Gonzalez, who apparently decided to go pitching again. I'm just kidding, he's a uh, different guy, different Carlos, but still. Let's go, let's do this, let's see how we do. I still feel like we're a good squad, all right? I feel like we got a good squad. The only thing we probably need is a little bit of probably pitching help, and we'll be... I'm sorry about that. And we'll be fine. Okay? We'll be freaking fine. Let's get back into this wild card. Actually, let's just win the whole division with these guys. And let's freaking do it. Okay? Let's freaking do this. All right. It's about all-star break weekend. Let's see how we're doing. Oh, my God. The Rays are in first place, and we're right behind them. The Yankees and the Red Sox have fallen from freaking grace. Wow. And then the Orioles. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. 
I'm so sorry, Orioles. What the heck happened, dude? What the heck happened, dude? 28 and 61. Jesus. But we're in second place, a game behind first place. Let's get this divisional series. Let's go. Let's also see how the boys are doing. Jonathan, not the greatest. Starlin, very good. Vladdy Guerrero, let's go, baby. Junior, a mate. Yo, Junior's absolutely killing Guerrero. Also, I know I'm calling him Junior. I'm sorry if you guys are Mariners fans or Ken Griffey Jr. fans. I am one too. But for this, like, are you really going to make me say Vladimir Guerrero Jr. every time? Come on. Let's shorten it up a little bit. Let's save some breath, okay? We got Guerrero and then Jr. Rowdy's actually killing it this year. It's looking like a probably a 30 home run season for Rowdy. Guriel, not bad. Brandon, very good. Tiasker, still very good. And then Reese, not too bad. All right, let's go ahead and keep it going. Let's see how we do. Again, 2021 could be the year. It really could. But we got to see first. What's up, Sean? Okay, so pretty much what I did, I let the computer pretty much do trades and free agency because, well, it would take a long time. And honestly, I want to see what type of team the CPU will build at the same time. I know they're not going to trade Guerrero or Junior, so... Might as well just let it happen. And apparently we got an ace in Sean. So not to mention we got Loreno. This guy, this freaking guy is so freaking good. I don't even want to talk about how good he is, but I'll do it anyway. He's insane. He's freaking nuts. Such a low key guy that nobody would have thought would do good this season, but everybody was wrong on him, except for the few people that actually, you know, knew he was going to do good. One guy in particular, Paul. Paul freaking knew he was going to be amazing. Sporo, he knew he was going to be freaking nuts. So I followed his advice and I got him from a fantasy team. And real quick, I would like to extend a big thank you to uh, to Paul. Okay. Thank you, Paul. Because <laughs> we were winning some fat cash from my boy Loreno. So thank you, Paul. Anyway, Aaron Nola absolutely killing it for the rotation. We got Sean freaking 2.06 ERA. Jesus, Barry, not having the best here. Ryan, very good still. What a solid guy. And then Salazar, 10 to 1. What's up? Lineups. Now we got Loreno, Guriel, very good. Guerrero, 21 bombs, still having a fantastic season. Junior, 31, 84 RBIs. Let's freaking go. Junior, Rowdy, again, killing it. Teoscar, killing it. Brandon, killing it. Reese, killing it. And then Dual, Dual Lugo. Okay. Didn't know we got him, but still, he's not doing too bad either. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Also, a quick little update. It is September, and we are almost... Actually, we are 30 games above 500. Again, Guerrero and Guerrero Jr. would absolutely destroy everybody. 96 and 66, we finished off. Finished in first place, right beyond the Yankees. Two games, pretty much, for each. The Yankees in the race tied. And as you can see, here we go. Let's just get into this real quick. Dewall doesn't really matter, to be honest. It doesn't matter. Loreno, fantastic. Guerrero, fantastic. Junior, 42 home runs for Vladdy Jr. Oh my God. Again, I called it. Rowdy, 30 home runs. Let's freaking go, Rowdy. Guriel, again, destroyed it. Nola, Sean, Sion type seasons. Ryan still did good. Like, wow, guys. Freaking wow. Now the big problem is we're facing Houston. Let's see what happens. All right, we got the W there. Sean, come on, against Brad Peacock. There we go. Come on, Barry. Okay, one series down. Let's keep it going. Keep it moving. Oh, not Tampa Bay. God dang it. Okay, come on. Beat him. Okay, 1-1. One, one. Oh, it's against Snell. I'm sorry. But Barry, you could possibly be it, bro. Barry, come in clutch. Oh my God, he came in clutch. Okay, Ryan, do it. Oh my God, Carlos, do it. Oh my God, we're in the World Series. Guys, red alert. Red freaking alert. I don't have any bells. I don't got nothing. Red freaking alert. We got the Los Angeles Dodgers versus the Toronto Blue Jays in the 2021 World Series. Oh my God. Okay, let's just keep it going. Keep it freaking going. Sean versus Kershaw. This is postseason Kershaw. So please lose. Oh my God. Okay, not going to worry about it. Walker, let's go, Nola. It's fine. Pitcher's duel. Understandable. Caleb, oh my God, we won. Ryan, okay, lost that again. 2 2. Nola versus Madea or Maida. God. Lost that one. It's fine. It's fine, guys. Walker versus Sean. Come on. We're 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 chilling. We're dang it, dude. Dang it. Don't tell me we lost a walk. Oh god. Oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. They scored five runs, six runs in the late innings. We were killing them. Six runs in the late innings. The bullpen gave it up. That's so rough, dude. That's so rough. Salazar came in and just sucked. Actually, the bullpen didn't do too bad, but Salazar, 
and Meza, I think that's how you say it. Just come on, guys. You can't be doing that. Like Phelps did good. Quackenbush did good. I mean, of course, Sean did good. Biagini did good as well. It's just that's an Italian name too. Biagini. God. All right. Well, after three seasons, somehow we made it to the World Series. Sadly, we did lose. But again, these guys absolutely were destroying everybody. Guerrero, one home run, five RBIs. Not the biggest hitter through this entire playoff run. But Guerrero Jr., though, was the biggest hitter of this entire playoff run. Absolutely killed it. The Blue Jays came very close, but that's, of course, going to be it today. I already said at the beginning of the video, if we get far into the playoffs, that's where we're going to go ahead and end it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you guys did actually enjoy this video and want more videos like this, then I would, I mean, the best way to do it is leave a like on it. Definitely tell me that down in the comments that you want more types of videos like this, and I will go ahead and do them. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Both links are down in the description. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.